If you or your loved one is impacted by diabetes and have questions, the Barbados Diabetes Foundation has the answers. It's always easier to reverse diabetes, certainly control it properly and avoid complications if you at least know that you have it. But it's just again to re-emphasize the importance of good diabetic care. And the diabetic care is, it involves really almost every part of the body. So it's your feet, your heart. But again, we're coming back to what our main focus the Maria Holder Diabetes Center, located in Warren St. Michael, is your source of diabetic care. You can reach them by calling 243-EYES-243-3937 for more information. Good morning to everyone tuned in to VOB 92.9 FM this bright Saturday morning. And as you can hear, I am here on a bus headed up to Warren's. And while I am doing this, you are about to hear 15 of the healthiest 10th anniversary minutes you will hear on your radio with the compliments of the Barbados Diabetic Ice Cream Program, the Maria Holder Diabetes Center, and the Barbados Community Foundation. And you might be wondering, Peter Boyce, where are you going on a bus? Where is you going? You too, Gypsy. But since you asked, I just passed Pricemar and I am on my way to the Maria Holder Diabetes Center located in Warren St. Michael right behind Eunice Gibson Polyclinic where if you are diabetic or pre-diabetic, this is your one-stop shop where you should be headed to for all of your diabetic needs. Like what's up, Bozzy? Let me list them. Vascular screening. If your feet swell up and you feel you got bad circulation, you can get a vascular screening from there. Diabetic eye screening. You need to get your ice cream every year for diabetic retinopathy. You can get that done there. Dietitian services. You got nutritionist Victoria Cox there to tell you what to eat and what not to eat to keep your healthy diabetic diet on track. Plus they have diabetes specialists, nurses and doctors where any diabetic issue that you might have they can treat. When I make a call to make an appointment. The number to call to make an appointment at the Maria Holder Diabetes Center. Yes, I'm going to write it down. Is Two, four, three, three, nine, three, seven. You will hear that number again before this show finish. But right about now, it's time for our first segment of the morning. Yesterday was a special water day. And to find out more about that, take a listen to this. We now welcome to the show drink water advocate and general manager of the Maria Hola Diabetes Center, Miss Marsha White. Welcome to the show, Marsha. Thank you so much, Peter. Thanks for having me. As World Water Day was yesterday, Friday the 22nd of March, what water words do you have for us this morning? Well, you know, I only have a few words. Drink more water. It's not just about switching from sugary beverages to drinking water. Water. It's about drinking more water. If you find that you have issues with energy, you feel slow, lethargic, you can't focus, maybe you have a headache, you're hungry, you're cranky, it might just be that you're not hydrated and you need to just top that fluid up in your body. It's so important. This is like the easiest thing that we can do. And we're so lucky in Barbados to have clean water supply adequate supply for drinking and our water tastes really good because we know that it's filtered through the coral and uh, it's it's pretty well everywhere so this is one of the best things that we can do and easiest so Marsha, one of the advantages of drinking water too is it helps you to lose weight too that's correct absolutely you cannot burn fat without the presence of water there's a mechanism that i'm gonna get real sciencey on you here called hydrolysis it means that you actually need hydrogen and oxygen to metabolize fat so and all of your cells don't you know they have to they only work properly in the presence of water all life requires water so if you're well hydrated you're going to have a much better chance of maintaining your weight not just because of that fat metabolization either but when you're thirsty you can often feel like you're hungry and cells just don't perform properly when they're dehydrated so your metabolism can be affected by dehydration. Right. So those are your water words for us today. And what is your mantra again that you're going to go out with? Drink more 
water, guys. <laughs> when you get up in the morning before you have your coffee or your tea or whatever, drink a big glass of water, okay? It is one of the best habits that you can cultivate for yourself. Well, you've convinced me, Marsha. I'm going to go and drink a big glass of water right now. All right. Well, have a wonderful day, Peter. Thank you, as usual, for all of your energy and enthusiasm and support. Love hearing your show, and thank you for having me on. Okay, you have a good day, Marsha. Thanks so much. Bye, Peter. Drink more water. Another service you will find at the Maria Holder Diabetes Center is Podiatry Services. So, we now welcome to the show Miss Dora Macarez. Dora is a final year podiatry student at the University of Brighton in the United Kingdom who is currently in Barbados practicing podiatry at the Maria Holder Diabetes Center. You remember last week when we talked to Dora? Well, we are going to go into the second part of our interview with Dora telling us about her experience here at the center. Dora, you stated that being part of the Maria Holder Diabetes Center gave you an insight into the diagnosis and treatment of skin tones that you are not accustomed to. Could you expand on that further? So, because I am currently studying in the UK, most of my patients would be of the lighter skin tone, so mainly white people, and diabetic textbooks and all sorts of podiatry tests textbooks actually describe most conditions on white skin tones with uh, key phrases like redness and blue cyanotic color changes to look out for, which completely is completely different when it comes to darker skin and black skin. We would not be able to say redness in someone who's a different skin tone. Therefore, all these conditions that by the textbook have been defined to show symptoms are, aren't the same symptoms to look out for. So you have to enhance like your sense of touch, your sense of smell, rather than relying on visuals. How often should a diabetic who might be listening seek to get a medical checkup? I would advise patients to attend regular appointments with your doctor every year because if you can catch something uh, before it gets to the point where of no return or where it gets serious then it's better to spot things early. What foot tips would you have for persons on how to take care of their feet while at home? Always wear shoes even indoors wear slippers in the house and get someone to help to manage your nails externally don't cut them for yourself. Daily uh, foot checks are essential for minimizing risks, but that can be done at yourself and visiting the center for nail care or which should be ha- happening every uh, three to five months, depending on how fast your nails grow. So Dora, in general, what advice would you have for persons who are diabetic? It's really important that you change your diet if you haven't already, but that does not mean that you have to give up all the things that you like. Speaking to a dietitian can help you find alternatives to your daily intake to best fit your sugar needs and uh, diet needs. You mentioned that persons should check their feet daily. What signs should they be looking for that might indicate they may need to seek urgent medical attention? So any changes in sensation like numbness or intense pain that they might feel can be a red flag as well as extreme heat and a difference in the feet. So it's really key to always look for symmetry in the feet and abnormalities are usually asymmetric. Very heavy swelling around the ankles as well might indicate that there is something underlying and I would recommend a visit to the centre as soon as possible. How important is it for diabetics to wear shoes which fit them properly? Shoes are a part of foot health that are often overlooked but wearing footwear that is well fitting, it has enough space in the toes or supportive of the ankle, entirely essential and uh, without this sort of foundation many things can go wrong. We go from Dora the Podiatrist straight into our song of the day. Make sure you are wearing proper footwear as you dance around the house to the Honorable Dr. Anthony Gabby Carter with his classic Kaiso boots. 
compliments. The Maria Holder Diabetes Center. Is it necessary to have so much soldiers in this small country? No. Is it necessary to shine soldier boots with tax payers' money? No, 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 no. Well, don't tell me, tell Tommy, he put them in St. Lucie. Unemployment high and the treasury low and the buying books. The Maria Holder Diabetes Center. We now welcome Mr. Victor Atwell, who is better known as popular domino player Mickey. Welcome to the show, Mickey. Yes, sir. How long have you had diabetes? About so, 15 years. What are the main challenges you would have encountered with the condition? It's a disease. The main problem I had is that disease. The very first thing it is um, pasta water. Mickey, you also had some challenges that caused you to lose your sight. Tell us about those. I was dealing with a doctor, and then I went to her, she tested me out, gave me a test, and then she sent me for another test to make sure that she's right, because then she tells me that I'll tell me I can come out and give a morning and it will still, still be right. And I haven't in three months done. And then I get, then in three months done, I can show my right at all. Nothing at all. Then I, and then from that day, so my eyes is now gone. Worse, from the 20th of April, when I had signed that best policy, I can't get wrong on my own at all. So I wanted to walk, get out of Spain and different places. I could get to walk around the house, do my little extra walking and that kind of thing. So from the 20th of April, now I handicapped now with the best policy. I can't seek me with nothing. Even every I mean, if I have money in my pocket, all I know that I got money, but I don't know how much it is. Oh dear. So Mickey, considering your experience, what advice would you have for people who might be listening, especially for diabetics, as it relates to having their eyes screened regularly? Oh, but check your eyes. Your eyes is very important. When you lost your vision, boy, I don't know. I know you've got a vet center do a lot for me. I cannot complain when I went into that vet center to get te- to, to, to get checked out. I get a good test there when I go there. Everything. I get there. I get a front shot. My toes on there. I'm a lot for my knee. I get a good a good test when they go to the vet center. I, I cannot complain that with anybody that's like that. They go to the vet center. Go to the damn profit. Proper doctor. When you go to the vet center, I would encourage anybody that when you get that VGs or want your eyes check or anything to go to more in the vet center and get it checked. And your eyes is very important. So that the only place in this go is that vet center and get me checked. I don't know the place else. For over 10 years, the Maria Holder Diabetes Center has been effectively serving the diabetic and pre-diabetic community of Barbados with a range of international standard health services, which include diabetic eye screening, vascular screening, nutritional advice, and consultations with diabetes specialists. So if you are listening to VOB right now and you have a diabetic-related query or you need to make an appointment, you can call 243-3937. You can also follow us on Facebook or Instagram. The last 15 minutes you heard on VOB was brought to you with the compliments of the Barbados Diabetic Ice Screening Program in partnership with the Barbados Community Foundation and the Maria Holder Diabetes Center celebrating its 10th anniversary. Until next time, drink more water. Did you know nearly one in five adults in Barbados have diabetes? Did you know diabetes is one of the leading causes of vision loss in the world? Regular eye screening can save your eyes. Contact the Barbados Diabetic Eye Screening Program today at 243 
3937.